Alright, this one's gonna be on a command line program called, well, I think it's pronounced FASD, alright? It's just F A S D. And if you've never heard of this before, or if you ever use Auto Jump, it's kind of similar to that, but this one is actually way better because Auto Jump can only do directories. This one can do directories and do path. Um, no, I mean directories and files like text files, movie files, and just about anything with uh, different files, right? Although you can still use you know auto jump type of feature with this one too. So let me give you an example of what this can do here. Um, well, they have like five commands that you can do right now. So it's, this program is called FASD, um, and it stands for um, uh, each of one of them. Like each letter stands for a different list you can do. But it's actually F A S D Z, right? The Z lists out all the path you've been to, and the D is the same thing. It lists out all the path you've been to. Um, let me clear that here. The F lists all the files you have opened, right? The A lists all of them, so it lists files and directories. So that's that. The S is just for a selection. And the way this works, okay, is that this is like my, my history that I've opened, either um, files or folders. And this number right here, these are, I think they call these weight, but I'm not exactly sure. But basically, these are the numbers of how frequently you've been to that path. So this is my uh, number one here, right, because this one is the highest. And they know that I go to my download folders a lot, so that's why this is a large number. Over here is just your selection item number. So basically, by typing like a seven, it's just gonna list out that you know path right here, right? This path. It doesn't jump into it. Although how this will work like auto jump is, uh, just like auto jump, you actually have to go to that directory or you have to open that file once in your lifetime. So it's a logger in, in a in a way, right? So I'll give you an example. Let's say I go CD into my um, what I got here. I got some scripts here, right? So you go to your scripts. Let's say I want to go CD in my Git Hub repo here, or whatever. So now I want to list it out, right? And there you go. It lists out, and and they know that I've been to that folder right there. And now that's in my uh, history, I guess you can call it, or my yeah, my my history basically. Um, you can use it anytime. It doesn't matter where you're at. Right now we're in our home folder, right? We just list it out there, home folder. But if we use our Z command, and we know it's a directory, so we go, okay, I want to jump into my uh, uh, Git Hub, right? It jumps into that folder. And you can do this with any folder that you've opened. Like if I want to jump into my download folder, jump into that sucker. Jump into my script folder. It doesn't even have to be the first three letters. It doesn't really matter uh, where you start. It's just that it has to resemble the folder. So you see, I type in Z rip. It knows that um, you know you don't have to, have to type in the first few letters. You can actually type in the middle or the last. It doesn't really matter. Same thing for. Let me see, I think I still have like 300 here. All right, there you go. It jumps into my PSP folder. Um, and that's basically like auto jump. It doesn't matter where you're at. It'll just jump into the folder that's in your history. And what else you can do with this? Oh yeah, I said you can use it for uh, like text files. So for example, I have my Vim here. But um, yeah, Vim here. Let me go show you the alias for this. So what you want to do is install the program, and the thing that they tell you to do to get this working is you need to add this to your um, either your Bash RC or ZSHRC, right? And here's some optional aliases you want to use, right? This one is for um, it's just called V, and this one is to open a file with Vim. So we know that the F command um, opens or it lists out you know your files only. So it's gonna say show me the files 
and open it with Vim. Okay. Um, same thing with this M here. It says show me the files only and open with M player. Right. And this one is the O. Basically, it says all. Oh, show me files or directories. And I don't give a fuck, alright? I'm just going to open it with XDG open. And that will open with your default player or default text editor. That's basically how that works. And you can add more if you want for different programs. I, I don't know what you want to use, but that's some examples you can do. Um, so, give me another thing here with the V command. So I know that if I go into my script folder, what's my script? That's not it. The script here, right? We can list out some files or yeah, I have uh, what is this one here? Like this um, gnome classic uh, comp is here, all right? So now that we have that logged, all right, we can go back. We can be anywhere in a different directory, and we just type in v comp is, and it will just jump into that uh, file that we been to earlier um, and you can do this with text files with Vim or you can use whatever editor you want uh, Emacs or Nano or whatever the hell it is uh, same thing with uh, the M player like I said right if I go M I know I opened my old screencast called FB grab and they know that it's an MKV file and you can see that I can open it like that real quick so you can do that for um, videos too if you want and the old one does XDG open, which if you know what it is, then you know what to do. But yeah, there's some of the, some of the examples right there. Either you're opening with um, text files, um, uh, you can do it with images too if you want, uh, using XDG open. Uh, you can use M player or VLC, whatever you want. Basically, that's what you can do with the program. Very cool. Uh, way better than auto jump in my opinion, but um, has the same features as auto jump too. Anyways, it's not in your repositories, so you're gonna have to go in and go get it from their official site, which I'll post in the description somewhere. But that'll be it for this one.